Good afternoon. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I need to get that screen up and running. Jess, can you crunch those biscuits any quieter? <laughs> Hi, it's Natalie here again and um, I'm going to pop back today with the last of my demos for the weekend and I'm going to demonstrate. I've decided to do I've decided to do two quick little art journal pages. One of them I'm going to show you how to use the Dina Wakeley gloss sprays in your journal and then I'm going to show you how to use the scrap effects collage papers as well. So these are the Dina Wakeley gloss sprays. So they're a glossy acrylic paint spray. And what I want to do is I want to show you how easy it is to create a really pretty and easy background that you can then work with. Um, I'm going to be creating in my little junk journal from Scrap Effects. So these are a fantastic little junk journal. That's exactly what they are. They are a heap of papers put together, but what I love about the junk journal is that it's got these beautiful little die cut corners and it's got the cut shape pages as well, as well as some textured elements as, um, in there too. So you'll find those on the website under art journals and also under scrap effects. So uh, I love me some street directory page and... Here is another page in here. And I'm just going to do this one side here to show you so that it doesn't take too long to dry and I don't have to work too hard for it. But what is going on here, the, the idea of the... Sorry, I'm just going to turn off the Wi-Fi. There we go. The idea of the paper towel is just to stop any over spray to running into the next page. Um, my little Dilusions journal here, excuse me a moment. <coughs> my little Dilusions journal here uh, is a good little size, so I'm just going to leave it there. But I've, I've created quite a few pages, so I'm going to use one of my little bulldog clips my little journal clips and clip that corner open there. Now, for those of you watching on a device, um, if the comments are covering up the bottom and you can't see what I'm doing, you can actually just slide them across as well. Uh, where's my chair gone? Oh, where's this got it? Hang on. <laughs> That's all right. Sorry, I'm back. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to give these guys a good shake first. So the colours that I have got here to use are Night, Eggplant, Marine, Fuchsia and Ocean. So I'm going to start with the lightest colour. I'm just going to turn my comments on, sorry. There we go. What do you mean no one's commenting? Come on people, haven't you got something to say on a Sunday afternoon? Um, when you shake, shake with the lids on just to make sure that they are shooken, shaken, shook nicely. <laughs> you don't get any splatter, you know what I mean. Um, so I'm going to use Marine first of all. And just start, oh look at that colour. And I haven't gessoed my page, this is just straight onto my dilution surface. The next colour I'm going to put down is Ocean. So I'm just going to create a quick and easy background that I'm going to then collage over the top. Look at that beautiful bold colour. And because these are acrylic paint in a spray, what happens is I am then able to layer up and colour on top of the other colours. So, and I've just realised all my overspray. Um, and I'm going to put down a bit of eggplant next. So 
see how are we all on this lovely Sunday afternoon. The sun has nearly come out here in Adelaide. I'm just hitting it with the heat gun just a little to dry it down, just to take some of the wetness out before I put on the next colour. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not too bad here in Adelaide at the moment. Um, eggplants, next colour. Beautiful, look at that. And again, and you can see that it's pooling, it's puddling because it is acrylic paint. So I know a lot of you have um, invested in some of the Dina Wakeley sprays and they are really, really pretty and easy to use. And they just, they're so good for creating some backgrounds. Um, Dina Wakeley has created some of the nicest, nicest backgrounds and, um, and projects. Uh, I need to have a bit more of a play with them myself and work out some other cool ways. So I'm just adding some fuchsia now. So it's a lighter colour. And because it's lighter, it's actually sitting really nicely on top of some of these other colours. Look at that. I love these. All right. And I'm just quickly going to give it a little bit of a hit with the heat gun again, just to dry it down. No, I didn't gesso my pages first, Delfina. I only decided to demonstrate with these only, I don't know, three minutes ago, really. Um, I, I hadn't even thought of it. I just looked at them and went, oh, I'll do a quick page with that. The original plan is to do a um, some collage paper backgrounds in my art journal. So I'll do that in a minute in the other little scrap effects journal. So I just wanted to show you how quickly and easily you can make a page in your journal that is super simple. So now I'm just using a little bit of night. So night is the really dark navy blue. And I'm using that on the edges just to give a little bit of depth. So a couple of colors there. And they are all the colors that I currently have in stock. And you can see, I'm just gonna bring that up to camera, that it is pulled, the color's pulled and it looks really nice and glossy. The other thing I'm going to use on this page for my embellishment is Dina Wakeley's Collage Collective Volume 2. So these are 30 double-sided single printed pages and these are fantastic for adding your focal point to your art journal page. So this is all of her beautiful creations and you can cut these out and pop them into your, into your book. So there are so many beautiful images in here. It's such a shame to actually cut them up, but it actually is a really good glimpse into Dina Wakeley's journal. So they have got some lovely thin papers and then back towards the, the second half, is the thicker, heavier coated papers. So these are all 15% off this weekend as well. So I've chosen a couple of images here. I've chosen this one here and I've just pulled it out of the book and I'm quickly just gonna cut my scissors, get my scissors and cut around that. And cut out that little image. And this is gonna be the focal point for my page. Voila, done, simple. Just gonna cut that up there. And to glue that into my art journal, um, I'm going to be using the Chromacool Impasto Gel Medium. Um, I don't know if any of you have noticed on my website that there is a, a tab down the side called Natalie's Favourite things, Natalie's favorite products. Uh, these, this section is all my go-to, my favorite things to use. So that includes uh, like my catalyst tool that I like to use, the, um, the links to, yeah, all of, my, all of my favorite things. So if you can't find something that I have been talking about online, then this is where you'll find them most of the time. 
This particular gel medium you will also find on that heading because this is the one that I use all the time. It is really thick and creamy and it's got a nice consistency to it and it goes over absolutely everything. So I can stick down just about anything on my projects. This is what I will be using. So I have just used my paintbrush to paint that and I'm, then I'm gonna pop her down here and align her to the right hand side of my page because she's looking in and body language is important. And that's it. So this background page is dry. I'm just making sure that it's got a good coverage. The other thing I'd like to do is I wanna add some highlights or maybe some little circles. Um, so this is another page that I've taken out. This is using the thinner paper in Dina Wakeley's Collage Collective. Um, and I just want to cut some circles out. Circles, kind of, circles. And there's no magic way to cut circles. When I cut circles, I want them to be rough and ready. I do not want them to be absolutely perfect. So turn your paper, not your scissors, and you will get something that looks kind of cool. So for those of you um, watching in at home, hey Michelle, um, art journaling is Art journaling is whatever you want it to be. Art journaling for me is the opportunity to try something new and if I don't like it, turn the page. It is not something that I put out there for everybody to see and analyze and give me their personal opinion on. It is something that I do here at home to create and to play with new, new and fun techniques, play with different ideas and recreate something that I saw on the internet, recreate something that I have done before, but do it in different colors. Lots of really cool things that you can do in your art journals. And if you don't like it, turn the page. That's kind of my theory. So I'm just gonna go through and stick down over the top a few of these lovely little circles that I've made, cut out. And I've cut them out of the Dina Wakeley Collage Collective book. And I'm using the Chromacool Gel Medium to stick it down. The Chromacool Gel Medium is the, um, it's the higher quality of the products in my, my store as well. It is the one that is just a little bit nicer to use. And the last one's going to go, I should, I need one up there actually. Um, and then... Whack that one down there. And then I'm just gonna pop this page here aside to dry. You're crocheting while you're watching. I'm just reading comments as I go here. That's really cool. That's something that I would have loved to have tried, but I don't actually think I've got the patience for crocheting. It is not my chosen sport, but I do have some lovely crochet gifts that my second mum has given me. Um, all right, I'm just gonna pop that up the top there. All right, so I'm gonna pop that aside to dry and make a start on my second art journal page because this little one here using the gloss sprays wasn't in the plan, but I just wanted to show you how quick and easy it was to create a background. Um, and using the Dina Wakely, Wakely Collage Collective book as well. So all Dina Wakely products this weekend are 15% off and you can find those online, nataliemay.com.au under the heading of um, Dina Wakely. Okay, so this little guy here, this is the Scrap Effects Junk Journal. Uh, what I would like to do now is show you how to use the collage papers from Scrap Effects. So these are lovely and easy to use. And again, they are pre-printed, pre-designed images for you. But I thought, you know what, let's, let's pop a couple into this little junk journal um, that I've started here and have a bit of a play. So 
what I did here, I'll show you a couple of other pages that I've done. So this one here is using the uh, Dilusions paints in the background with some stenciling. And the collage paper is also on here as well. So this page has got this lovely little cutout in the side, um, which, which is what is unique about these junk journals. And this black image here is one of the scrap effects cutouts that I've just glued on. So these are all available online. Then this page here consists of some paint in the background with one of the, what are they called? Graffiti peeps designed by the very awesome Michelle Logan. Um, and Michelle has hand drawn these and popped them, uh, yeah, and we've popped them onto my art journal page there. So this page is here and this little tag. And I've done a little stamping here with an art by Marlene stamp. And then the rest of the journal is a beautiful combination of pages out of your, uh, out of dictionaries. This is a transparency. This is a cutout. We've got a street directory, some other sorts of paper. This is a graph paper in the background here. This is a, a sample from one of my online classes that are still available as well, um, where we learn how to do this page and some techniques. So what I would like to do is I'm gonna do this page here. So what I'm gonna be doing is, it's like a, it's, um, a sketchbook paper and then a little tabbed image here. So I'm just gonna separate these ones out pop a piece of paper towel in here so that I know that it is what I want to use and I'm going to remove these elements so that I only have what I need to use in front of me. The collage papers are great because they are lovely and thin and they, oops, sorry, I'm just going to straighten that up. Um, and they're lovely and thin and easy to use. And, but before I start, I think I want to secure that down to the middle. Because it is a loose leaf page, I'm going to find some washi tape. I had some around before. Oh, thanks, Jess. And I'm just going to secure that into place so I don't lose my spine. So these little junk journals, there's a couple of different ones available online. And I think they're $20. Uh, they are... There we go, just to make sure that that doesn't move. And it's really fun to work on different surfaces and try something that is a little bit different. And I'm going to use these collage papers. Um, I wanna use this one on this side, and I love this because it's this leafy landscape is fantastic. And even better is a lot of the hard work's being done for me. So I'm just gonna tear straight into this, which breaks my heart because it is so pretty. But I'm gonna use the gel medium, which I've managed to get all the way up and down my brush. I'm going to use the gel medium to stick that down with. So I'm gonna go right edge to edge, which is really important to go edge to edge. And then stick that on. Now there is this border on the side here so I'm making sure that that goes off the page because I don't want that border. And that is stuck down nicely. And just to make sure I'm going to go right over this edge with my paintbrush just to make sure that it's really adhered properly and that I don't get any bubbles because I really don't want any bubbles. So gel medium is traditionally used by um, proper grown-up artists to extend the life of paint, the life of paints. For to, in in the industry that um, that I'm working with today, we are using it to as, as an adhesive, we're using it to seal a surface and stick something down. Beautiful, there we go. 
and I'm just going to cut that bottom off. And that top, just so that I know where my boundaries are. Whoops, and I ripped a bit on there. So quick and easy little art journal page made a start there. And then on this side, I'm going to pop... Actually, I'm going to put... Loving these online lives. Thank you, Cheryl. I'm really enjoying doing them too, actually. It's been really fun and nice and relaxing to just create and, and know that everybody's watching. Well, I'm assuming somebody's watching anyway. Um, but yeah, to create something a bit on the fly. Um, I really have got almost no plan when it comes to doing this. Uh, I'm just pulling out a whole heap of bits and pieces in front of me and hoping for the best. Um, so I'm going to stick down this one next. And you can see that my page, I'm going to have to trim it around that edge. So I just need to make sure that that's totally stuck down and that this side is stuck down as well because I don't want any gaping edges. But the, the collage papers are just the easiest to work with and especially for laying down foundations of your, in, your, in your journals, you don't need to do too much to it. Um, and that is an absolute bonus because, let's be honest, if there's a shortcut and a quick way to do something and get it visually, visu sorry, visually appealing, then you want to be able to do that. So I'm just going to be a bit cheeky here and snip up there. All right, there we go. So I have laid down this little foundation for this page. So a couple of things I can do from here on in. Um, I might add a little paper through here just to seal that, to make sure that, that there, the, the two different sorts of papers, make sure they've joined really nicely. Um, what am I going to use for that? I still want to keep collaging. So I might use my little stash of other bits and pieces here. Some of the typeset papers. I was going to use this really lovely abstract bright one, but I think I'm going to save that for something else. So this is one of the, um, the simple type. So here in South Australia, it's a long weekend. Is anybody else have a long weekend where they are at the moment? And if it, if it wasn't for the apocalypse, we would be up in Brisbane at the Scrapbook and Papercraft Expo this weekend. So we I would have been up there seeing a lot of you in person so maybe next year well actually no hell yeah it will be next year i refuse to go through this again <laughs> um i think we all refuse to go through this again i don't know about anybody else um okay so this one here i'm gonna whack a bit over here okay put that one down And I'm starting to, you can see that I'm starting down, starting to lay down a little bit of a foundation for my, uh, for my page. And I am pretty happy with how that's looking. I want to add some acrylic paint next. So pulling, having a look at my background here, I can see that there's lots of oranges in here. Uh, I might just do a little zoomy up a bit. There we go. You can see that. And pulling out some acrylic paint, I need to get some paint into here and some stenciling. So how am I going to do that? Let's have a 
think about it. So the colours that I can see in the back here are whoops, um, probably some orange or some cheddar. There's a little yellow in my background. And maybe a little umber. So the Dina Wakeley paints are something else that are also on special this weekend. Oh, can I just get that all over my top? No. Um, so you'll be able to jump online and grab those. Um, and thank you all of you for your support. We There are a few colours that have sold out. Um, but there are always orders coming in. So I'm just using, again, the best tool that I can find handy, which is my, my fingers. And I'm just going to add... A little bit of color around my page and I'm going to overlap it into my background collage paper as well so this is cheddar this is the color that's probably closest to what I can see in the background here And I'm just blending that across with my fingers. And getting in there and working on that. So this is just all on plain paper and then this collage paper here in the background. Um, there's no pre-gesso, there's no um, addition of any other colour. Look, I've got this fuchsia spray here in front of me. I wonder what would happen if I do this. Oh, there we go. Um, I'm going to blend that through a little. Goodness me, I can't straighten that up there. Oh yeah, that works. And we're on the right track. And just toning that down a little bit, I'm just gonna roll my paper towel over it because it's pretty strong. And by rolling my paper towel over, it's also giving a little bit of stenciling, a, like a stenciling sort of effect and leaving a pattern there. Um, all right, so I've just realized that my paintbrush here probably needs to be wrapped in a baby wipe. So just a tip, if you are using gel medium, make sure that you don't leave that out to dry because it is an awesome glue and it will kill your paintbrush because it really doesn't come out of uh, your, your dry paintbrush. Uh, I'm going to use the Snarky People. So these make a really, really cool embellishment. They are a little bit creepy and I think they're fantastic because they're really unique. So I want to pop one of these guys down through the middle here. And I'm going to use this one here. So the tissue paper will tear, but because there is a really nice sharp line here, I'm just going to lightly cut it out first and then, whoops, cut around doing that so then this will get stuck down with gel medium as well so I hope you all enjoyed my little demo that I did this morning uh, for those of you who missed it you can scroll back up and have a have a look and, and watch it again uh, this I will load it up and pop it onto YouTube a little later this evening uh, we are currently in the process of packing orders and getting those all done and we will be posting on Tuesday but majority of the orders we have packed up ready to go so they I'm looking forward to popping all of those in the post shortly so okay I want this to go here but before I do that I'd like to add a little bit of stenciling to my background the Dina Wakeley stencils are currently all online as well for 15% off. And if I could find it on my desk, because now I've just made a massive mess, here we go. I want to add a little bit of stenciling 
to lighten up this background a bit uh, using a sponge and what are we going to use I might use some gesso perhaps just a little bit of whiteness so the Dana Wakeley white gesso That aside and I'm just using a, a, a latex wedge so just a makeup sponge to apply almost it's going to be almost like a transparent layer of stenciling of white to this so by using a latex sponge it allows me to put it on and then lightly I guess take it off as well because I've used only a small amount of paint in the background, you'll notice that I didn't dry it off. And that's because um, I wasn't really using that much paint. So it doesn't take very long to dry. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna pop another going. I like this one. So I'm gonna do this one going this way. So I want this, I want my uh, my collaged, creepy, snarky person to sit over the top. So I'm gonna put the, I wanna put this on first. So the Dina Wakeley stencils are all 15% off and some new ones were added online uh, day before yesterday. So there is quite a nice little range of stencils available. So um, something that I guess to suit everyone. And you can do so many different things with stencils. You can spray with them. Oh, I've just had an idea. Um, you can spray with them. You can uh, stamp through them. You can do all sorts of things with, with the stencils. So uh, it's completely up to you. And everyone needs stencils in their, in their stash. Okay, so there's a little bit of stenciling going on there. Pop the lid back on my gesso. Okay, what am I going to do next? I wonder... I really want to use that. What are the chances of messing it up if I spray through a stencil straight onto my page? What do you think? How bad can this go, hey? What's the vote, people? Let's get some of these paints out of the way and make a clear spot. Anyone got any thoughts? Can you pan out a little bit, please? Of course I can. Sorry, I didn't realise that I couldn't see it. Hang on. Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> oh, hang on. I can't pan because my fingers have got that much paint on them. Here, can you pan that, Louise, for me? Just, oh, because I go the other way. Might have to do it with the same two fingers. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to do this because my fingers are all gross and there we go. That's better. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, that's better. Yes, okay. <laughs> that was harder than it needed to be. Um, all right, so I'm thinking now that I might use the Dina Wakeley Gloss Spray to add some of these arrows across here as well. Before I do anything, it, I'm gonna clear off a bit of an area off to the side because it, it oversprays really quite nicely, for lack of a better term. Uh, and I want to add this one here. So it means I'm going to need to mask it off so when I'm masking it off, I need to make sure that I can mask it off with some paper towel. Here's a dirty piece from before. What else have I got? Here's, a, here's that one. I need to mask it that off there. And I need to mask it off there so that I don't get any overspray. And I need to shake that. Okay, are we ready? So when we're spraying, just a tip, you want it in a movement. 
I want to make sure that it's moving and I'm not just going squirt, 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 because what will happen is it will bleed a lot in under that stencil and we don't want that to happen. I want a light coat. Aha, that worked. Yeah. And then I've got this corner sitting on here that I can quickly go stamp, 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 and I can stamp with it now. And now I wanna add a little bit of stenciling there as well. It's all about balance. So I put blue over on that side and now I need to put some blue over on this side and just need to keep balancing it out with those. So you can also stencil. <laughs> I can also stencil with that as well. And I need some up here because it's not balanced. So I'm just gonna grab that and press it on there for that little touch of blue. Okay, hey, not so bad. That could have gone a lot worse. I'm just gonna wipe this off. All right, so back to my snarky peep, my, my little person. So I, I cut that guy out and I'm gonna pop him here. So to stick him down there, I need to adhere him with gel medium. So I'm gonna put my gel medium straight onto the collage paper. The important thing when you're using gel medium on collage paper is that you cover the whole surface. No matter how much you use, how little or a lot or whatnot, you still need to cover the whole surface because it'll show up if you don't. gone a little soggy but that's okay and I'm gonna pop it down like that okay next thing I want to do is I just need to use my paintbrush and rather than applying more gel medium to it I'm just using the dampness of the brush and lightly pushing it out and you can see that I'm pushing it left and right because what's happening is that it is getting rid of any air bubbles and it's pushing if I had any lumps of gel medium underneath then it's going to move it around it's going to push it out So just a little side note, I don't actually have any affiliation with ScrapFX, um, the, the company doing the, the chipboard and the, um, the, the collage paper and the peeps. I just really love a well-designed product and that's exactly what I'm seeing here. Um, having worked in the scrapbooking and papercraft industry now for what feels like a million years oh for maybe 16 years I think or 17 years I've been working in this industry um, I've seen some really cool companies bring some things out and I've seen some great quality products over the years I've also seen a lot of not so wonderful products and I Think that this is a beautifully well-designed product that is perfect for the current market so um, a big congratulations to this company for, for bringing that out and I tend to make sure that within my little shop I only sell products that I would use as well so that is I guess you know testament to how how this um, product is designed and is working so they're made in Australia. yeah they are made in Australia absolutely um, yeah made in I don't know New South Wales or Victoria I'm not too sure I'm sure someone could um... where's Michelle Logan is she 
floating around. She's usually around. But yeah, they're just a beautiful product and and really quite well designed and well used. Um, okay, so I've got my page here. I'm on the right track. I just have to trim off this little side here, which I'll do off camera. I want to add a little bit of doodling now and um, I'll add some words. So my words will come from this collage sheet and I do believe that this one here was um, came straight out of my head. Don't think about making art, just get it done. And funnily enough, I studied Andy Warhol quite intensely through my schooling. So that would probably make sense. So I'm going to use that. Now, can I tear it? Will it tear beautifully? Let's have a look. Oh, no. <laughs> Nope, not today. So let's cut that. So what makes collage paper work in an art journal? Good quality gel medium to start with. You don't want something that's too watery. You want something that is nice and easy to use. If you have a look in under Nat's favorite things on my website, you will find exactly that, my favorite things to use. Oh my gosh. And there you go. So I'm going to, in a moment off camera, stick this guy on along here. And the reason I'm doing this off camera is because you guys have watched me waffle on for long enough. Um, and add a little bit of doodling to the side. Then I'll take a photograph and pop it up on the page, um, on, the, on the Facebook, on the book face. And this is the page that we did earlier. And this is dried up quite nicely now as well except for that bit where my clip was. And what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna add some doodling and incorporate her into the page using a Stabilo pencil, which is the water soluble pencil. And it is the pencil that Dina Wakeley actually introduced me to many years ago and is the most commonly used pencil in art journaling. So, um, it is a super intense pencil and they're quite inexpensive to use. Um, you'll find them under pens and pencils on the website. Um, and I will intensify all of these little guys here as well and pop on a, a sentence, a, a sentiment, a, um, some words, a phrase, some sort of insightful bit of waffle. Um, gloss spray gloss sprays on the background this is my little baby uh, dilutions journal uh, this is out of the Dina Wakeley collage collective which is this guy here uh, we have volume one and volume two in stock at the moment uh, what else have I done so gloss sprays oh and I use the gel medium to stick that down and then this will just have a little bit of scribbling on it I will continue with that uh, then the second page that I did is in the Scrap Effects Junk Journal, which has got the beautiful lace patterns. And I used some of the collage paper in the background with the Dina Wakeley stencil. Um, the arrows, as you can tell by mine, it's an extremely well used stencil and would be a very good addition to your stencil stash. Um, stuck it all down using gel medium. Used the funky little, no, these are the snarky peeps. Designed by Michelle Logan. You'll find those under collage papers. But I'll sit and spend about half an hour just finishing this page off and then post uh, some photographs up online. So nataliemay.com.au yeah, there's a little bit more time left of my sale. So you're looking at 15% off Lindy's Gang products, 15% off all stamps and stencils, which is great because that makes that come down in price. Mind you, they're only 10 bucks anyway. Um, adhesives, 15% off. So your double-sided tapes as well as your glues are all 15% off. All Dina Wakeley products, including the Collage Collective and the Gesso, the gloss sprays that we used before, 
and the Dina Wakeley paints. They are also 15% off and all scrapbooking paper and card making papers are also 15% off so thank you again guys for tuning in i really appreciate it and um certainly do appreciate your support as well for supporting this little family business um and i hope you are all having a wonderful day and look forward to chatting to you soon bye